Sony Pictures has reversed its controversial decision today on its controversial film, The Interview. It is now going to allow a limited release of that movie. It's going to be played at some theaters around the country, including a couple here in western New York. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Kendra Eaglin is live on the story in Lancaster tonight. Yeah, Keith, I'm here at the Flick Stadium Theater in Lancaster, where the countdown is on just three days before it makes its debut. That controversial film by Sony, The Interview, debuting here in just three days and at a select number of movie theaters across the country. It's far from a political thriller, but the president of the United States and North Korea's leader squaring off not about weapons of mass destruction or an international treaty, but Sony's comedic film, The Interview. I don't know why this movie is that big of a deal. I mean, it's just a movie. But it is a huge deal. You want to go kill Kim Jong-un? Totally. The movie centered around a fake and funny plot to kill the North Korean leader, but he's not laughing. Last week, Sony picked was hacked by suspected North Korean cyber terrorist. The company's private data released to the public. And you don't want to aggravate a country. There's rockets just pointed at places like U.S. military bases. Sony responded by putting the film on ice, canceling its Christmas Day release. The company quickly criticized for caving in to the dictator. It's, it's freedom of speech. It goes against our First Amendment right not to do it. But earlier today, a change of heart. Sony deciding to release the film to any theater willing to show it. Dipson Theaters will begin showing the film the day after Christmas in Lancaster and Lakewood. Last week, a hacking group linked to North North Korea threatened to carry out 9-11 style attacks at any theater showing the film. Me being ex-military myself, I fear for people's lives. Despite that, Gareth Greener says he will buy tickets. This is why we have our police officers for, this is why we have our FBI, our Homeland Security. Now, there is some concern for security, as you just heard in the story. So we did ask the vice president here at Dipson Theaters what they may be doing, if anything, for security as they release this movie the day after Christmas, but he declined to comment. Live in Lancaster, Kendra Eaglin, 7 Eyewitness News.